Exactly one month ago on a Friday night, paramedics found San Francisco public defender Jeff Adachi unresponsive on the floor of this Telegraph Hill apartment. They shocked him multiple times, were able to get a slow pulse for a few seconds before it was lost. Adachi was transferred to California Pacific Medical Center where a doctor pronounced him dead. A woman listed only as Catalina told investigators that she spent the day with Adachi at some point. They had some cannabis edibles, had a glass or two of champagne with dinner, in her words, and that he ate well before complaining of severe stomach pain. So they went back to that apartment. Witnesses told paramedics and fire department personnel that the subject had been acting strange and unlike himself and grinding his teeth before collapsing. Catalina called 911 and then Adachi friend Susie Kurtz using his phone. And I said, what's wrong with Jeff? And she said, well, he said he had stomach pains and heartburn and, you know, and he, she, she said, but he's, he's not doing well now. Can you please hurry and come here? Kurtz is a realtor who let Adacha use that apartment on Telegraph Place for two days. The autopsy concluded the cause of death is acute mixed drug toxicity with cocaine and ethanol, with hypertensive atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease as a contributing factor. At some point, most likely during the dinner, his already compromised heart could no longer sustain the amount of cardiac stress caused by these stimulant substances and became ischemic, with death resulting a few hours later. The report also said the syringes found at the scene were consistent with medical therapy. Adachi's death has been ruled an accident. We reached out to the new public defender, Manu Raju. His office said they would not have any comment out of respect for Adachi's family. He leaves behind a wife and daughter.